Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like korba, a hearty soup made with meat, often lamb or beef, vegetables, and spices, served with a squeeze of lemon. Korba is a popular soup in Tunisia and several other North African countries, as well as in the Middle East and the Balkans. It's a hearty and flavorful soup typically made with a combination of meat, vegetables, legumes, and aromatic spices. Korba is often served as a comforting dish during Ramadan or on special occasions, but it's also enjoyed year-round. Here's a basic recipe for Tunisian korba. Ingredients 250 grams, about half a pound, of meat, chicken, lamb, or beef, cut into small pieces. 1 onion, finely chopped. 2 cloves of garlic, minced. 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil. 1 teaspoon of paprika. 1 teaspoon of ground cumin. 1 half teaspoon of ground coriander. 1 half teaspoon of ground turmeric. 1 half teaspoon of ground cinnamon. 1 quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Adjust to taste for spiciness. 2 tomatoes, diced. 1 tablespoon of tomato paste. 1 cup of red lentils, rinsed and drained. 1 half cup of small pasta, e.g., vermicelli or broken spaghetti. 1 large carrot, diced. 1 large potato, diced. 1 bell pepper, diced. Salt and black pepper to taste. A handful of fresh cilantro or parsley, chopped. Lemon wedges for garnish. Water or chicken broth, as needed. Instructions. In a large pot, heat the vegetable oil over medium heat. Add the chopped onions and saute until they become translucent. Add the minced garlic, paprika, cumin, coriander, turmeric, cinnamon, and cayenne pepper to the pot. Stir well and cook for another minute or until the spices become fragrant. Add the diced meat to the pot and brown it on all sides. Stir in the diced tomatoes and tomato paste. Cook for a few minutes until the tomatoes start to break down. Add the red lentils and enough water or chicken broth to cover all the ingredients in the pot. Bring the mixture to a boil, then reduce the heat and let it simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes, or until the lentils and meat are tender. Add the diced carrots, potatoes, and bell pepper to the soup. Continue to simmer until the vegetables are cooked through. Stir in the small pasta and cook according to the package instructions or until al dente. Season the soup with salt and black pepper to taste. Adjust the seasoning as needed. Just before serving, add the chopped cilantro or parsley to the pot and stir to combine. Tunisian pizza, bambalouni, deep fried dough topped with sugar or drizzled with honey, a sweet and savory street food. Tunisian pizza, known as bambalouni, is a delightful street food that offers a unique twist on the traditional concept of pizza. While it shares the name, pizza, bambalouni is quite different from Italian pizza. It's essentially a deep fried dough that can be enjoyed as a savory or sweet snack. Here's how Tunisian pizza, bambalouni, is typically prepared. Ingredients. Note. Bambalouni can be made as a savory or sweet dish. The ingredients differ based on your preference. Savory bambalouni. Dough. The dough is usually made from a simple mixture of flour, water, yeast, and a pinch of salt. It's similar to pizza dough. Toppings. Savory bambalouni can be topped with a variety of ingredients such as olives, cheese, tuna, capers, harissa, a spicy chili paste, and sometimes chopped herbs like parsley or cilantro. Sweet bambalouni. Dough. The dough for sweet bambalouni is prepared similarly to the savory version but may include a bit of sugar for sweetness. Toppings. For sweet bambalouni, common toppings include powdered sugar, honey, or a sprinkle of cinnamon and sugar. Preparation. Dough. Prepare the dough by mixing the flour, water, yeast, and salt. Knead the dough until it's smooth and elastic. Allow it to rest and rise for some time. Shaping. Divide the dough into small portions and shape them into rounds or oval shapes. Flatten each piece to create a thin disc. The size can vary based on your preference. Savory version. If making the savory version, add your choice of toppings to the dough rounds. Common toppings include olives, cheese, tuna, and a dollop of harissa. Sweet version. For the sweet version, you can skip the toppings at this stage. Frying. Heat vegetable oil in a deep frying pan or skillet. Carefully place the dough rounds into the hot oil and fry until they turn golden brown and crispy, flipping them to ensure even cooking. Draining. Once fried, remove the bambalouni from the oil and place them on paper towels to drain any excess oil. Grilled mishui. 
slow roasted whole lamb or goat, seasoned with spices and herbs, often served at special events and festivals. Grilled mishui, also known as mishui, or lamb mishui, is a traditional North African and Middle Eastern dish that involves slow roasting a whole lamb or goat, often prepared for special occasions, feasts, and celebrations. The term, mishui, itself means, roasted, or, grilled, in Arabic. This method of cooking results in tender and flavorful meat with a crispy outer layer. Here's how grilled mishui is typically prepared. Ingredients. Whole lamb or goat. The size can vary depending on the number of servings needed. Salt. Spices, such as cumin, coriander, paprika, and black pepper. Olive oil or clarified butter, ghee. Fresh herbs, optional, for garnish. Lemon wedges, for serving. Preparation. Preparation of the meat. The first step is to prepare the lamb or goat. The animal is typically cleaned and dressed, removing any internal organs and excess fat. The cavity is often stuffed with aromatic herbs and spices, and the whole animal may be seasoned with salt and spices both inside and out. Marination. The meat is then marinated with a mixture of olive oil or clarified butter, ghee, and spices. The choice of spices can vary, but common options include cumin, coriander, paprika, black pepper, and sometimes garlic. Skewering. The marinated animal is then skewered onto a large metal or wooden spit, ensuring that it is secured firmly. Some cooks may trust the animal to help it cook evenly and maintain its shape. Roasting. The skewered lamb or goat is placed over a charcoal or wood-fired grill, known as a mishui pit. It is slowly roasted for several hours, turning it occasionally to ensure even cooking and to achieve a crispy and flavorful outer layer. The cooking time can vary depending on the size of the animal and the desired level of doneness. Resting. Once the meat is fully cooked and has developed a crispy outer layer, it is removed from the grill and allowed to rest for a short period. Serving. Grilled mishui is typically served by carving slices of tender meat directly from the skewer or spit. It is often accompanied by fresh herbs, lemon wedges, and additional spices if desired. Grilled mishui is a celebratory dish that brings people together, and it is often the centerpiece of large gatherings and festivities in North Africa and the Middle East. The slow roasting method results in succulent and flavorful meat that is enjoyed with friends and family during special occasions. Tunisian Salad Salata Tunisia, a fresh salad made with tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, and olives, dressed with olive oil and spices. Tunisian salad, known as Salata Tunisia, is a fresh and vibrant salad that reflects the flavors of Tunisia's Mediterranean cuisine. It's a simple yet delicious salad made with fresh vegetables, aromatic herbs, and a dressing that typically includes olive oil and spices. Tunisian salad is a common side dish and can be found on the tables of Tunisian households and restaurants. Here's how to make a basic Tunisian salad. Ingredients. 3 to 4 ripe tomatoes, diced. 1 cucumber, diced. 1 red onion, finely chopped. 1 green bell pepper, diced. 1 red or yellow bell pepper, diced, for added color. 1 quarter cup of black olives, optional. 2 to 3 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. 2 tablespoons of fresh lemon juice or red wine vinegar. 2 cloves of garlic, minced. 1 quarter cup of fresh parsley, chopped. 1 quarter cup of fresh mint, chopped, optional. Salt and black pepper to taste. Ground cumin, optional, for added flavor and warmth. Chili pepper flakes, optional, for a spicy kick. Instructions. Prepare the vegetables. Wash and chop all the vegetables. You can adjust the size of the dice to your preference, but traditionally, they are chopped into small pieces. Combine vegetables. In a large salad bowl, Combine the diced tomatoes, cucumber, red onion, green and red, yellow bell peppers, and black olives, if using. Toss the ingredients together. Prepare the dressing. In a separate small bowl, whisk together the extra virgin olive oil, lemon juice, or red wine vinegar, minced garlic, and a pinch of salt and black pepper. You can also add a touch of ground cumin for extra flavor and chili pepper flakes for spiciness, if desired. Dress the salad. Pour the dressing over the chopped vegetables in the salad bowl. Gently toss the salad to ensure all the ingredients are coated with the dressing. Add fresh herbs. Add the chopped fresh parsley and mint, if using, to the salad and toss again. Fresh herbs are a key component of Tunisian salad and add a wonderful aroma and flavor. Taste and adjust. 
taste the salad and adjust the seasoning by adding more salt, pepper, or lemon juice, vinegar if needed. Chill and serve. Refrigerate the Tunisian salad for at least 30 minutes before serving. This allows the flavors to meld and the salad to chill. Harissa. While not a street food on its own, this spicy chili paste is used as a condiment in many Tunisian dishes. Harissa is a fiery and flavorful chili paste that is a staple in Tunisian cuisine and widely used throughout North Africa and the Middle East. It's known for its bold, spicy, and smoky flavor, making it a popular condiment and ingredient in a variety of dishes. Harissa is made from a base of chili peppers, spices, garlic, olive oil, and sometimes other ingredients. Here's how to make a basic harissa paste. Ingredients. 10 to 15 dried red chili peppers, such as Aleppo, Ancho, or Guajillo, seeds removed. 3 cloves of garlic, minced. 1 teaspoon ground cumin. 1 teaspoon ground coriander. 1 teaspoon caraway seeds. 1 half teaspoon smoked paprika, optional, for a smoky flavor. 2 tablespoons olive oil. Juice of 1 lemon. Salt, to taste. Instructions. Soak the dried chilies. Place the dried chili peppers in a bowl and cover them with hot water. Let them soak for about 30 minutes or until they become soft and pliable. Drain and remove seeds. Drain the soaked chili peppers and remove the seeds and stems. Removing the seeds will help control the level of spiciness in the harissa. You can wear gloves or wash your hands thoroughly after handling chili peppers to avoid irritation. Blend ingredients. In a food processor or blender, Combine the soaked chili peppers, minced garlic, ground cumin, ground coriander, caraway seeds, and smoked paprika, if using. Pulse the mixture until it forms a coarse paste. Add olive oil and lemon juice. While the food processor is running, drizzle in the olive oil and lemon juice. Continue blending until the harissa paste reaches your desired consistency. You can make it as smooth or as chunky as you like. Adjust seasoning. Taste the harissa and season with salt according to your preference. You can also adjust the spiciness by adding more chili peppers if desired. Store. Transfer the harissa paste to an airtight container or a glass jar. Top it with a thin layer of olive oil to help preserve it. Harissa can be stored in the refrigerator for several weeks or longer.